Okay, so Elliot Glynn has asked if you need a credit card to start selling on Shopify. So there's different situations where you'll need credit cards um, with setting up an online store. And the first one is you need to make payments to Shopify every month to have your store online. So Shopify charge you $29 every month to um, allow you to use their services, use their platform to keep your store online and, and to use their features on your store. So when you first set up your um, Shopify store, you actually have a 14 day free trial. And during that 14 days, you know, your store can be live, you can be sending Facebook ad traffic to your store, making sales, and you don't need to make any payment to Shopify. You can basically use those 14 days, the two weeks, as a trial period. So when you set your uh, website up for those first 14 days, you don't need to enter any credit cards into Shopify. So in theory, you can start a store without a credit card. And when the 14 days end, if you haven't made any sales, you don't think the niche is going to work, you can close the site down having never paid any money to Shopify. But once those two weeks are over, if you decide to continue um, having your online store live on the internet, you will need to enter credit card details into Shopify to allow Shopify to um, withdraw $29 from your account every month in order for you to make payments to have your store online with them. So short term, no, you don't need a credit card to um, set up Shopify, but in the long term, you will eventually need to enter credit card details into Shopify to be able to use their platform. So that's the paying Shopify side of things down. Also, you need to, um, when customers pay for your products, they need to use a payment gateway um, to process payments on your website. So. For instance, um, I'm using a payment gateway called Stripe and it allows customers to pay using their credit cards on my store. Now, when you set up a payment gateway like Stripe or Shopify payments, you need a um, to enter bank details, to like, connect your payment gateway to your bank details so that when a customer pays you using that gateway on your store, the payment that the customer pays goes to your bank details, goes into your bank account. So you will need a credit card um, in addition to paying Shopify, you'll also need a credit card or a bank account to receive payments um, that your customers make to your store. So there's two aspects here, paying Shopify and also receiving payments where you'll need a credit card. So you can get away um, with uh, not having a credit card but paying Shopify by using the free trial. You may also be able to find a way around getting away uh, with not having to enter bank details to receive payments from customers. So you can set up manual um, payments through Shopify where you basically give your customers instructions on how to pay you um, using methods alternative to what Shopify provides. So you could request that your customer makes a bank deposit straight to your bank account. Um, you can also request that uh, you receive cash on delivery. Once you deliver the product, your customer pays you then. So you may be able to set up some manual payments to avoid having to use a credit card to connect to your store. But really, the being able to pay um, with credit card on a web store, on an online store, is such a norm, it's such a standard that you expect as a customer when you're shopping online. If a store didn't have a gateway allowing you to pay with your credit card um, as a customer on a store, a lot of people are going to be turned off by that. So you're going to want to be able to allow your customers to pay by credit card on your store and to do that you're going to need a credit card to connect to that payment gateway to allow um, customers to pay you and then to receive that payment into your own account. So long story short, there may be short term ways of working around not you having a credit card to connect to your store but really you should be connecting it. You should have a credit card and you should have it connected to order in order to have a professionally running store. So I hope that's helped uh, Elliot in setting up your Shopify store. If you want to set up Shopify, there's a link below in the description where you can get a two-week trial that I mentioned before and then go on to, um, like I said, you can use that two weeks of the test period. If you're seeing success, start paying the $29 to Shopify and have a store long term. And if you don't see success, you may want to shut it down, open a new store and try something else. So you can uh, click the link in the description below to set up a store with Shopify. Make sure to keep these questions coming um, in the comments box below. If you have any different opinions on what I've said now or any follow-up questions, the questions that you send me keep these um, videos coming every day. I do a daily question and answer video every day and then a wider, more in-detail update on a Thursday 
on everything online business, dropshipping, e-commerce related, how my press is, progress is going, if I'm seeing success, if I'm seeing failure, then you can use my example to sort of copy the formula in your own projects. So thanks for watching guys, keep the comments coming, uh, keep the questions coming, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.